Assalamu alaikum students. Now we are going to start Oxford Progressive English Class 5. Open your books at page 8 in Unit 2. Well, the name of the unit is ePals Computers. ePals means the friends which are made through internet. At the top, you can see a question. What is Judy going to look for and what is she going to write about? I will give you answer at the end of the lesson. So I'm going to read the lesson first. It is a kind of conversation between two girls, Judy and Nadia. I think I'm going to look for an e-pal in Italy. What's an e-pal? Judy says it is modern kind of pen pal. People used to write letters to their pen pals. Now they email each other. I want to practice my Italian. Nadia, sounds interesting. What are you going to write about, Judy? We will write about our interests and so on. We can write about things that we do differently in our countries. Well, um, in these lines, it is conversation between Judy and Nadia. Judy wants to be friendly with a person in Italy. And uh, Nadia wants to know about what is an e And she tells that it is kind of modern kind of pen pal as people used to write letters and then they used to make friends in the old times. Now it is modern kind of friendship which is made through electronic mail. And uh, Judy says that we can write about the um, things which um, of their common interests uh, which they used to do differently in their countries. And uh, Nadia says basketball isn't uh, isn't different abroad. Judy says no but who is and um, birthdays are different and families do different things. Nadia says, I guess you're right. How are you going to find an e-pal? Judy says, I have got some ideas. I will tell you after half term. I must go now. Nadia says, good luck. So Judy says that um, they can share the um, different things which they do differently in their countries like their birthdays and how their families do different things in their uh, countries. And Nadia says that... Um, how you are going to find a friend and Ju Judy says that I will tell you afterwards. So I'm going to give you the answer that what is Judy going to look for. Open your copies and prepare the page like this. You have to mention the date, classwork, unit 2, lesson 1 and the name of the lesson. Then you have to write the answer like this. What is Judy going to look for? Judy is going to look for an e in Italy. It is answer. In the second part of the question, what is she going to write about? The answer is, she is going to write about her interests in the things that are done differently in their countries. And then come to the fourth question. What are you going to do? After this lesson, you can write the answers over here because these are the general questions. And the answer is, I am going to look for an e-pal. What second question? What are you going to do after school? The answer is, I am going to consult my brother on it. What are you going to have for lunch or dinner? I am going to have fried rice. You can also write the thing of your choices. What are you going to do at the weekend? I am going to invite my friends and we shall discuss how to make new e-pals. Move to next page. Here some pictures are given and you have to match the words in the column with these pictures. And you have to fill up the blanks with these words. And I have done for you. It is very easy. You type on a keyboard. When you type, use all your fingers and thumbs, not just two fingers. Second one, you get ele electricity from a power supply. Turn it off and you finish work. Third one, you use a mouse to move the flashing line around your computer screen. Fourth one, print your work on the printer. It can print pages in color or black and white. Fifth one, to send your emails and files, connect to the internet. You can send your emails, files and pictures down the phone line. So it's done. Move to next page. It is Unit 2, Lesson 3. The Lost Cousin. 
I am going to give the answer at the end of the reading but we have to read the text first. Did you get a birthday card from Alice? Cat asked. No, worse luck. Worse means bad, replied her sister Lucy. I don't know how she is or where she is. We have the same birthday, so I couldn't send her a card either. You mean, sir, don't you ask Cat? Of course I do, agreed Lucy. I, it seems wrong that I can't see my own cousin. I wish Uncle Ed and Dad hadn't called. I feel so helpless sometimes. Come on, suggested, su suggested me, proposed Cat. I'm sure there's something we can do. So, students, it is conversation between two sisters, Lucy and Cat. They're talking about their cousin, Alice. From the text, we can comprehend that uh, there was a kind of call between these girls' father and their uncle, Ad. And then I'm, I'm going to read the next uh, paragraph. Later this, uh, that evening, Lucy wanted to ask her mom some questions about the family. At first, she hesitated. Hesitant when you are um, too slow to act. Then she found the courage to stammer. Stammer means uh, when you speak with the difficulty. Mom, can I ask you a question? Why did dad and uncle add split up? I know they had they had a, a, a argument about the business it was very upsetting for us all snapped mom snapped means uh, when you speak angrily it was very um, but was uncle ed dishonest continued lucy was he breaking the law no not at all answered mom beginning to confide in lucy confide means to tell something to reveal when you have a trust there was a disagreement about business plans. Uncle Ed wanted to take bigger risks. It was all it all went well. We would all have made a lot of money, but if the business had done badly, we could have lost all our money and this house too. So Uncle Ed got very upset and went away. Does Dad miss him? Lucy asked softly. I think so, but he doesn't talk about it, replied Mum. Actually, the girls wants to know what was the reason behind the split of the father and the uncle. They are asking to their mother and the mother is saying that actually Uncle Ed wanted to take the bigger risks, risks in the business. But the um, father of the girls, he was not of the view and that's why they split up. Now come to the second part. Again, the question which I am going to give the answer at the end. But I am going to read the text first. For a day or two, Lucy searched for her cousin's name in the telephone book for the town where Alice used to live, but without success. Then she had an idea. Perhaps she had the email address of her cousin's friend, Gracie. She switched on her computer and browsed through her address book. Nothing. Then she scrolled down and noticed a folder called Friends. Yes, there it was. Well, next, for the two days, Lucy searched for the um, cousin's address, but she wasn't able to find it. Uh, then suddenly it came to her mind that she has the um, email address of her f um, cousin's friend. Her name was Gracie, so she decided to mail her, and she found her address. Uh, in the column, you can read that how she has uh, written an email. Hi, Gracie. If you have my cousin's email, Alice's email address, please could you forward this email to her? Thanks. Now, she is asking that if you have my cousin's email address, you must forward my email. And the email uh, email's content is, Dear Alice, where are you? Please send me your email address. Hope you had a good, good, good birthday. Love, Lucy. So it, it was the uh, email which she wanted to convey to her cousin. The next day, Lucy received an email from Alice. Below the header was the message. Next day, she got the email from her cousin. And it was the, Lucy, you are just great. You managed to track me down. Track me down means to find out. I was so happy when I saw your email sitting in my inbox. I would love to see all your family again. I will speak to mom and dad. Why don't we meet up for a lunch at the restaurant half, halfway between our homes? Who knows? Maybe our dads could 
forget their differences. Next day, um, Lucy got the email from her cousin, and um, here she also was happy to see the email and wanted the matter resolved. The two days later at supper, supper means dinner, after a few private phone calls, Mum suggested a trip for a following Sunday. Lucy wants to visit an old friend she hasn't seen for some time. We could all meet up for a lunch. I'm pretty busy on Sunday, said Dad. Please, Dad. Pleaded means requested. Pleaded Lucy. She and I were such good friends. Okay, okay, agreed Dad. Which friend is it anyway? I met some of them. I will tell you about her. In the car on the way to lunch, said Lucy. Now, after some calls, mother decided to pretend that they are going to meet to a friend of Lucy, but actually they were asking father to meet the girl. But in actually they wanted to see the uncle and their family. So come to the exercise. Find words or phrases in exercise two to complete the sentences. So the verse I have filled it up. When you browse through documents, you look through them quickly. You keep the names and email addresses of your friends in your address book. Third one, when you scroll up or down on a computer screen, you move the document up or down so that you may read it. And the fourth one, you keep a group of emails in a folder on your computer. Fifth one, if you email if an email cannot be delivered, it bounces back and returns to the sender. 6. If you can, forward an email which you receive to another person. The header on an email includes the sender's details and the time sent. 8. When you receive an email, it goes into the inbox of your computer. So move to next page. Uh, in unit 2 lesson 4 we have grammatical work and uh, we will do it from the grammar book so move on to next it is in unit 2 lesson 5 I think it is a kind of poem what's in the inbox I'm here by the computer but it isn't my turn yet mom's online and shopping on the internet I am a bit excited excited means happy Cause I can't wait to see if there is anything in the inbox for me. Mom's finished, now it's my turn. Fingers crossed for a surprise. I sent emails this morning and I am waiting for a reply. So here I go to ma mouse clicks. It's like magic in GP. There is a message in the inbox for me. It is a small poem. Uh, the kid is quite anxious. To get the answer of the email because uh, he or she has done an email but the mother is busy on the computer because she is purchasing something but the kid is quite anxious at the second uh, stanza we can see that when he or she opened the inbox there uh, she got a reply then come to the exercise what words or phrases does the writer use instead of because instead of because in verse 1 we can say we can see that he has used cause I have written here you can also write on your books second one when she starts to do something what phrase she used in second to, in second verse he or she used so here I go in the third one to bring herself good luck the writer has used fingers crossed I have written over here when she is very pleased she used the word yippee. So writing email, you have to complete the box with the correct phrase. You can read the email and uh, when she finishes her email, she used, uh, she used to write like love Judy. And in the second email, you can also read that Tom sent an email to Ali. He started his email like hi Ali. He finished his email with best wishes Tom. Move to next one. Right, uh, well, what email did Mrs. Bat send to the school when Sandra was ill? Number the sentences in the best order. The first one has been done for you. So um, here the sentences are given and we have to number them. 
we have to give them an order so it will be a proper email so number one is already done for you dear mrs scott it stands for number one and then we will write i am sorry to say that sandra is ill today and then she has a cold and headache and is going to stay in bed today i hope she will be well enough for school on monday best wishes any better so in this way we will finish the lesson now i am going to give you the next question and answers okay the lost cousin here there were two questions who called lucy and her cousin ellis or lucy's dad and his brother ad the right answer is lucy's dad called with his brother ad are the two families going to meet up if so where they are going to meet up in the hotel these are the questions which are given on the page 10 so this is enough for today thank you